So again, towards the business end. Rianne to throw for the ball. Of this competition here in Wigan. And this time we have a repeat of the 2010 and 25. 2011 world final between Trina Gulliver and Rianne O'Sullivan. Outside, Rianne's won the ball. Trina Gulliver, the victor on them occasions. Rianne to throw first. Beating O'Sullivan two sets to nil. But now we've reached the quarter-final stage. Still first to four, best of seven legs. 45. And Rianne O'Sullivan, a strong competitor, Chris. But Trina Gulliver, multiple world titles and loads of experience. Yeah, Trina 100. has been through her troubles of late, but she's back to good health and back to good form. And I certainly think a, a contender 60. in these women's series events. Rianne O'Sullivan, though, a dangerous opponent. We've seen her reach the final of one of these before. She reached the semi-finals 100. again at the World Championship ten years after her last visit to Lakeside, losing out to Kirsty Hutchinson. Although she did come back from two 36. sets behind in that match to force a deciding set. And this should be what we call a, a proper game of darts. Well, it's been very businesslike from Gulliver so far. Ton, ton, then ton 40. O'Sullivan now in the contest with a max. Yeah, she cuts the score in half there with that 180. And Gulliver 161 here, trouble 17 for the bullseye. Just out in the two, leads an awkward six set up there. 99 down to 98 now, so all of Sullivan. A little bit of a door opening here to try and put some pressure on the 98. 41. But doesn't do so. 98 coming in from Gulliver. She's known as a power scorer, Rihanna Sullivan. And that maximum was her seventh of the day. That's more than anybody by some distance as well. But double 19 will render it irrelevant. Game shot. And it's an excellent start for Trina Gulliver, the 10 time world champion. Takes out 98, breaks a throw, defies the maximum, and has the lead. With the arrows in the second leg. Gulliver moving across. 45. Looking to try and stamp her authority on this quarter final. Still first to four. As we are getting towards the business end now of this. First tournament of two on this Saturday at the end of April. We just want an indication to back up the claim that Rihanna Sullivan is a power scorer. 41. So far today, she's hit more 100s than anyone, more 140s than anyone, and more 180s than anyone. And here comes another. 180. Oh, here we go. Proper game on now. Second 180 from O'Sullivan. 42. Yeah, she's hit 53 scores before this match, that is of more than 100. The next in line 85. is Trina Gulliver on 41. She did 21 140s. The next in line was Rianne Griffiths on 15, and she's now hit eight 180s. Fallon Sherrick has half that amount in second place in that race today. Well, as a great man once said, it's 180s for show, doubles for dough in this game. But the 180s help. Well, she's had a 180 in each of the first two legs, but the scoreline reads, so Sullivan nil, Gulliver won. 100. That may be about to change. 116, going upstairs. For this one, double 18 coming in. 98. To leave 18, Gulliver back on 173, so look, trying to get down to a two dart to pressure rise. 93, trouble 19, there's double 18. 99. Down to a two data, but it's double nine coming in from O'Sullivan to level up. A single one. Two fours. Ten. Chance coming for Gulliver. We might see the old Bobby George adage play out here. The 180s for O'Sullivan. But the doubles for Trina Gulliver, who leads 2 0 after two excellent. Finishes 98 and 74. O'Sullivan well, needs a response. Starts off with a ton. Gulliver halfway to a semi final berth here in Wigan. 81. Ninety-five. Down to 306. Trina Gulliver, 420. 
beautiful first start. It was a great guide for the other two to come in. 100. But only walks away with a ton. Sixty. She did reach the quarterfinals at the last women's series event. Actually lost in the last leg decider to Kirsty Hutchinson. So looking to go 45. one better. We did see her in the semi-finals at the end of last year. She lost in the last leg decider then to Dita Hedman. So will today be 60. the day that Gulliver, the woman who's won everything in women's darts, makes her first final in the PDC women's series. 80 scored, yeah. Just checking with the marker, 195 left. Bullseye would be the target, and that is the case to leave top of the shot, 170. Sullivan trying to get down to a two dart. It does so, good third dart. So Sullivan should get a dart, at least for the bullseye. She missed a handful of darts at double. 40. In the previous leg, that will help her a little bit though, because even if she doesn't take this out, Gulliver may only get a dart at the bull herself with a treble. A single for a bull here for O'Sullivan. Well, instead, well, I'm not sure. If she may have miscounted there, but well, yeah, I don't think she's miscounted. I think she's just concentrated on what she's doing and not take, paid attention to what Trina Gulliver is mm, doing. Indeed, and it, it could have proved to be a mistake. 26. She had 68 left. She went for the treble 20, which is fine, unless your opponent's on a finish. Game shot. Nonetheless, it's the third leg for the Welsh competitor, Rhian O'Sullivan. 2-1. Gulliver, still that one leg lead, that break of throw. Throwing with the dart in the fourth. 41. And this is the only quarterfinal that's currently been played. In the last 16, there have been wins... Already for 81. Jane Densley, Fallon Sherrick, and Kirsty Hutchinson. And Makuru Suzuki's just booked her place in the quarterfinals as well. She's beaten her 45. travel partner, UK Sakaguchi of Japan. The pair came over together. Both reached the last 16, but Makuru just taught her a bit of a lesson 4 0, that one. Vianna Sullivan looking to get back into this contest. Great 140 from the 41 year old from Swansea. And it's been a leg to forget here for Trina Gulliver so far. Just got 95. 100, 110 in nine darts. And Rihanna Sullivan has punished the 10 time world champion. 100. Better from Gulliver. O'Sullivan on 185. Yeah, can just heard or saw, sorry, Rihanna Sullivan react to something 60. that she'd heard. We can hear it as well. It sounds like some kind of vehicle circulating the arena. 60. I'm looking above my our head in our country box here, Chris, <laughs> you know. Treble 20. Couldn't be found, but... 105. Can with the third dart, and that leaves a... On double ten. Gulliver two three one. He's gonna get down to a finish. One that's a great third dart to get down to a two darter on ninety one. So a bit of pressure on the twenty coming in. Inside and to the left once more. No Not this score. time. Ninety one. Plenty of options here. And this is where she's been good, isn't it? Can still be done, 84 left. She's taken out 98, she's taken out 74. Now she's looking at treble 20, but not this time for Trina. 59. Rianne reeling her in. Second bite of the cherry, at double 10. Left half an inch, not that way. Needs to come left, too Ten. far left. Well, those missed doubles could end up being crucial. Close, but having to move across. Well, it's like having a goalkeeper, isn't it? No she can't score. find a way past. Well, you can see on that, on that camera angle how blocked the bed was. So Sullivan at double five. No score. 
Cardinal Sin. Nice clear bed, Trina. That's the way. Game shot. And Gulliver is 3 1 up and on the brink of a place in the semi finals. Two up, three to play. O'Sullivan with the darts in the fifth. 26. But a sucker punch from the 10 time world champion, taking that leg that O'Sullivan really dominated in the scoring department. 41. But just could not get over the line. Just 41 from Trina Gulliver, though. So O'Sullivan can really capitalise. 100. And does so with that turn 40. Forty-one. It's all neatly bunched around the treble twenty for Rihanna Sullivan, as it has been all day so far. But she's getting the bit at the end of legs wrong. Gulliver's getting it right. One hundred and forty. She won't mind if she drops this leg, Trina Gulliver. She has the darts to win in the one that follows. Sixty. 215 plays 279. 9. Downstairs. 99. Leave a nice even 180. Well, she might well get the job done in this leg. Her treble really needed here from Rianne. She doesn't 60. find one. Gulliver's thinking 140. Well, even even ton would do. 60. Still leaves a Shanghai finish of 120. So O'Sullivan, 155. And he's going to hit another treble. It's going to be down the 19th and has a chance to do so. 155 coming in. Not far away from Rihanna O'Sullivan. Leaves 38. Gulliver under pressure with this turn 20. Single, treble, double. There's the single. That's the wrong treble. Yeah, it was always going to be difficult the way that dart landed. Gone, yeah. A more maverick player may 65. have gone two bulls after blocking that bed. O'Sullivan, a long way off, but has double eight. 30. Can't find that either. 55 coming in for Trina Gulliver for the, the tie. 15, double top. Two tens for the game. 35. A reprieve for Rihanna O'Sullivan. Match starts missed. And Rihanna here has miscounted she's worked no it out score. in the end wasted a dart and then bust what a mess what a miss and Gulliver to punish and to take the tie one to go ten right Rianne you require eight that's double four gotta go Double trouble this has been for Rihanna O'Sullivan, who's been so strong uh, scoring throughout this contest, but has had so much double trouble. Double five, awkward. Single one. For double two, for the, for the game, Six on the wire. Scored. You could see her in the background there, just standing with the darts pressed against her mouth there, watching on anxiously as Trina Gulliver squandered more match darts, but O'Sullivan squanders more to stay in it, and surely now the 10-time world champion will get the job done. A rueful smile from Rihanna O'Sullivan. I think she knows it may have gone this time, and Game that is indeed the case. The Trina Gulliver will advance through to the last four, gets the job.